Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Breakthrough Maths and welcome to this video on how to find the equation of a line. So we're told we have the equation of the line L and it's x minus 3y minus 6 is equal to 0. We're told the line K, so a different line, this was line L, now this is line K. Line K passes through the point 1 minus 2 and is parallel to the line L. Find the equation of the line K. So the first thing that we know is that we're given a point on line K. This is going to be 1 minus 2 and this is x1, y1. So we have that. What else are we told? Well, we're told it's parallel to the line L and we're given the equation of the line L. What do we know about being parallel to a line? What does this mean? It means that the slope is going to be the same. So we need to find the slope of line L and then we know it's going to be the same slope. So we'll find the slope of line L first. So we're given the equation of the line L, but we're not told any points on it. This is when we resort to this formula here, the equation of the line formula, the second one. Remembering I said the first one is what we use to find the equation of the line. And the second one is what we use when we're given the equation of the line, like we are here. We're given the equation of the line L. So the equation of the line L is x minus 3y minus 6 is equal to 0. Now we need to write it in the form y is equal to mx plus c because we know whatever number is in front of x is going to be m, which is the slope. So if we rearrange x minus 3y minus 6 is equal to 0, bringing the y to the left, that stays as minus 3y. Then we put in our equal to. Then we'll have our x come over to the right hand side, so it'll become minus x. And then the c is the number by itself, so minus 6 will become plus 6. Now, when we're writing an equation in the form y is equal to mx plus c, you're allowed to have something in front of the x. That's going to be the slope, m but you're not allowed to have anything in front of y. Here we can see that we have minus three. So we need to divide the right hand side by minus three to get rid of it. So we will have y is equal to minus x divided by minus three plus six divided by minus three. So simplifying this, we'll have y is equal to, so we know there's an imaginary one here. So it's gonna be minus one over minus three x and then six divided by minus three is minus two. Final step then, we know the minus and minus just cancel out and it becomes 1 over 3x minus 2. So now we can see our equation of the line is in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So our m here is 1 third. So we know the slope of line L is 1 third. But since they are parallel lines, we know that the slope of L and m are going to be equal. So we're going to have a slope of 1 third for line k. And that's what we found so far. Okay, so next we need to find the equation of the line K. So we have a point on the line. So to find the equation of the line, we're going to be using this formula here. Like I said in the introduction video, to find an equation of the line, you use the first one. So that equation is Y minus Y1 is equal to M X minus X1. So what can we fill in now? Well, we know a point on the line. And we now know that the slope is going to be 1 over 3. So we can fill these points of information in. So we'll have y minus minus 2 because it's minus y1 and our y1 is minus 2. So we put a bracket around it. So minus minus 2 equals to our slope of 1 third, open bracket, x minus and our x1 was 1. So minus 1. So we'll have here minus by minus will give us plus 2. We'll have a third multiplied by x is a third x. And then 1, three, one over 3 by minus 1 is minus a third. Okay, so we're getting there. We will have it in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So we'll keep y on the left. And then we'll have 1 third x. We'll have minus 1 third minus 2. So what's minus 1 third minus 2 going to be? So we'll have y is equal to 1 over 3x and we'll have minus 7 over 3. And that's our equation of the line k. Okay. 